For this problem, we're going to have to consider graphing this rational function. And the key to rational functions is considering asymptotes. And there's a clue in the question that we know we have asymptotes. But rational functions, a typical characteristic is that there are asymptotes that exist. So let's consider first our vertical asymptotes. To find our vertical asymptotes, they exist where x is not allowed to be. And if I look at this fraction, I know 0 is not allowed to be in the bottom of the fraction. So if I set the bottom equal to 0, I get x squared is 4, and x then is plus or minus 2. So this graph, this function is not allowed to have x be plus or minus 2. So that's a restriction on the domain. So that means if it's not allowed to be it, that's going to be vertical asymptotes. Here's negative 2, and here's positive 2. If I consider my horizontal asymptotes now, I need to consider the numerator and the denominator and the degree that they have. Since these degrees are both the same, then I know it's the, the leading coefficients, which there's 1 over 1, is going to be my horizontal asymptote. And so y equals 1. Now make sure when we write these asymptotes, we write them as equations, because we need to state them as equations. That's what the IB wants us to do. So I know 1 is the horizontal asymptote. So I now have a region here, here here and here, and then these last two. There are six different regions to consider. To find out where the graph is, let's go and consider the x-intercepts. To find the x-intercepts, I let the y value be 0. So 0 equals x squared over x squared minus 4. Multiply both sides of the equation by x squared minus 4, and I get 0 is equal to x squared. And so then I know that x equals 0. And so I have the coordinate point 0, 0, which is right here. That is the only x-intercept that exists. That means there are no x-intercepts here. The curve cannot come here. So therefore, I know it is up in this region here. Similarly, the curve cannot be over here. So it doesn't cross the x-axis. It must follow the asymptotes over in this region here. So from my experience, I know that the graph is going to go here. But if you want to make sure that's the case, let's pick a point. Let's try x equal to negative 1. If I plug negative 1 into this function, I find f at negative 1. I get 1 over 1 minus 4, which is negative 1 third. So negative 1 and positive 1 are both the same value, which are 1 third, which are here and here. So the graph is going to be doing this kind of parabolic type shape. It's not actually a parabola, but a parabolic type shape upside down u in this direction. Another thing, there's lots of symmetries often in rational functions, and so we can consider what's going on there. To wrap up the question, it says state the domain and the range. Well, the domain, I know, is x belongs to the set of real numbers such that x cannot be plus or minus 2. These are the asymptotes. can't be those. Similarly, the range. y can be any number that is real, provided that x, well, it does not equal 1, which was our horizontal asymptote.